motherfucking guala. <gasps> Bando used to smell like some stinking enchiladas in the streets. Walk around with lunch and mess a polo on me. Hey, I'm walking around with the pocket while you don't run up on me. Lo- wow, wow, wow. Mashallah. Talk to my people, bro. Tell them what's up. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. They all said it. What's up? <laughs> Y'all thought it was finished? They pull up with that ass in my hand. Y'all thought it was ready? The hell, bro. Y'all really got me more than I got me, man. Shit. Much appreciated. Fam, this is the spot. This is the spot. They've been hooking it up from time. You go in there and you let them know that the boys from Rotana's, the Shisha Place, sent you. And we got you. So I've been with Danny all morning. We've been working on fixing a couple things in Jemima. And my man just fixed the biggest problem. He didn't even get phased. He just walked off like, yeah, I know. Danny, how are you? Some people on my Snapchat, they want to hear you. You know what? They want to hear you talk. Talk that Zaraba, you know? Sarah Allahu. Umo Zaraba. Hari Maalati Zaraba. Wow. So basically, you're not even going to put more cooling, you're just going to put water? My? Said 50 50 kak. I put like 19. <laughs> Umohiji, Danny and I, we've had a rough morning because we got stressful, we got annoyed of each other, but we're friends again. Much Danny? Shab shab. Hawai! Danny Hawai! Ba'ala Hawadi Khayozina Kullu! You did the whole damn thing by yourself. Thank you. What a boss. Okay guys, so for now we're good. I'll see you next time, Danny Hawai. Uh huh. Shab shab. We've done everything, see you soon. Kullu. Cool. Dahan. Stay warm. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن So I got through calling the Adhan prayer and yes, it's my first time I ever called it in a mosque. Like I've called the Kama before, which is the smaller one, the shorter one. But y'all know I'm not perfect. And I messed it up. On the mic. For everybody to hear. And everybody was looking at me like, mm, look at this guy with the braids, recently converted, first time being in a mosque. I was like, no, actually I was born and raised a Muslim. <laughs> and to make it even worse, when all is already bad, my uncle was in the crowd. And when we were done, he came over to me. And in these words, he said, I didn't know you were a Muslim. I said, okay, thanks. Bye. And then he said, why don't you come for lunch? I said, bye. And that is exactly what I remind myself, that I'm a Muslim for me, not for them. I don't care. I tried. My intentions were pure. And next time I go to that mosque, and I know my uncle's going to be there because he lives across the street, I'm going to ask to make a dhan, and I'm going to murder that adhan. I'm going to make it perfect. And when my adhan is so known in that area, I'm going to come back one more time and I'm going to say to them, I want to lead Maghrib out loud because I can. And then I'm going to go to my uncle's house and I'm going to lead prayer there too. What did you do? Yeet! So I prayed, alhamdulillah, I walked out of the actual mosque, I'm in that little lobby, and there's two guys sitting on chairs. You know, I guess they're just booling, kicking back, you know what I'm saying? They just look at, look at me. First thing this brother has to ask me is, brother, where are you from? I say, I'm from Eritrea. He goes, oh, okay, when did you convert? I'm like, well, nigga. <laughs> me being the little handsome, naive son of a gun that I am, huh? I said to the man, I was born a Muslim. Why would you think I wasn't born a Muslim? I feel like I'm a very good Muslim. Why would you, know, why, why would you say that to me? So basically, I wanted to guilt trip the man, you know what I'm saying, for like making him have that prejudice. I wanted to be like, yo, braids don't mean nothing. We could be Muslims and have braids, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're still good people. And so because of that, the man had continued to give me a lecture that he had obviously memorized and presented many times before. And I sat there for a following 30 minutes. Nigga. But I can't front. You know, jokes aside, he tossed one, like, real big knowledge bomb. Like, not, that's not like a Muslim joke when I say bomb. I mean, he dropped knowledge on me, you know what I'm saying? He kicked game for a second. This is what he said. He said, you got to be able to love God and like practice your deen because then he'll bring a woman into your life. And that's what I think. So in honor of International Pizza Day, me and the Uncle Hus, we got it out here, fam. 
We got our pizzas, boy. This is my second pizza of the day, I found. Damn, we got the My savage is my savage. Wait, there's more. Nigga. Nigga. Yeet. I'm ready to cut. I said, I'm going to